Hi there, welcome to this course on video editing using Blender. My name is Harshit and I am instructor for this class. Here in this course, you will learn various tools and techniques that are used for designing and editing videos using Blender. You can use these editing skills for creating a variety of videos that can be used as a travel log uh, where you combine multiple video clips together you can add photos you can add audio clips video and anything you can create uh, creative documentaries uh, you could create a podcast or just anything that is related to video you can also use these skills for um, in the tv shows or you can create your own cinematographic effects as well here you will learn about creating a hard cut and soft cut for splitting video clips you will learn about these concepts as well uh, you will learn about various kinds of fading like fading in fading out and you would be able to customize it you will learn about various blending modes how you can use them and combine on the clip you will learn about adding text and setting up the keyframes for creating animated transformations you would be able to transform uh, various properties such as position you could set the keyframe you could create animation for that moreover you would also learn about controlling the playback speed of the video clip you would be able to uh, move the video fast forward you can slow it down you could do anything you can create a ramp of the video as well you will learn about various kinds of effect strips that you can add on then you will learn about adding glow and customizing the brightness of the video clip you would be able to reflect a video like you can turn about in the symmetric direction uh, either left right top bottom and other properties as well you would be able to create a proxy clip in order to speed up your rendering uh, capacity in the real time rendering while you are editing the video and much more and you will learn about various export properties and settings that are required uh, for various kinds of exporting the videos and you will learn about rendering and much more so if you are curious to learn these video editing skills with blender start learning right now see you in the class hi welcome to this course on video editing with blender here in this lesson you are going to learn about getting started with blender so let's go so this is the interface home page of uh, blender if you are a first time user you may find it uh, a little bit overwhelming but don't worry we will just focus on video editing part so on the top right corner you can select to add a work space and from that option you got a video editing just select the video editing option uh, from the menu don't select the rendering part and this will be added to your workspace by default blender is not used for video editing but you can use blender for video editing you can use blender for uh, other thing as well such as layout modeling sculpting uv editing uh, shading creating animations uh, for rendering videos creating compositions scripting and much more so along with uh, video editing you can perform various things on blender uh, you might have already seen various movies that has been created with blender you find you could find 3d assets that have been created with blender so blender is widely used and most of you might already be familiar with blender uh, so if you are already using blender for any other use cases such as creating animations or composition uh, you can find video editing quite relaxing because you can perform video editing creating animations everything on the same software and blender is very much optimized software so it consumes very less space on your computer system and you can find everything so here uh, we are in the video editing dashboard of blender and on the top left corner you can find various assets you can import it from your computer you can import online and you can add it to the timeline so the bottom one is the timeline so if you want to create any video you can drop multiple video clips uh, images audio clips various things on this timeline so it will be played in the sequence so people who are not familiar and you are using the timeline mode for the first time you can find this thing on the top right corner there are various options as well uh, you can 
you find the photo mode you can find the alpha channel and other things you can find uh, other things histograms if you want to edit those things but meanwhile let us stay with this so whatever you see on the left corner these are the assets that we can import in this video you can always change the folder name you can have multiple video clips so first one we added an image and then we added a video clip so as you can see this a person is walking on the ground with his boots and here you can find two different lines or strips so what are they one is for audio one is for video clip and it has been added or and it is so so you can split them you can change it you can add, add fading you can have multiple things you can move it anywhere from here and there various places and that's it in the same way you can add multiple video clips you can also record some audio if you want to create a podcast you can add other things as well you can add dubbing and other things so this is how and on the top right corner you may find various settings as well you can change the frame rate frame size uh, various other settings that has been there so in this lesson you just focus on learning about the interface of the blender for the first time uh, after uh, completing this lesson just uh, open up, up your blender uh, go to the video editing workspace import some assets and try to add them to the timeline these are the basic things just adjust the frame rate by default uh, for high quality videos we require 60 frames per second uh, and for the lower end you can set 29 or you can say 30 frames per second otherwise if you are recording some video tutorials uh, you may also go with a 15 frame per second based on the requirement and other things you can also find uh, various other settings on the right hand side as well uh, from there you can do a lot of things if you want to play your timeline just press the space bar that is a shortcut otherwise you can just go to the play icon little play icon on the bottom center of the screen and you can play back these things later in this lesson you will also learn about some advanced concept like uh, setting up keyframes you can apply various kinds of transitions and much more so just uh, go with your blender workspace add some video clips add some images uh, try to move them around different channels as you can say there are multiple channels so you can place multiple video clips images and other assets on top of each other and always this follows a stack sequence a stack of uh, plates you can say the higher uh, is the anything the asset that is placed on the higher channel will be displayed and others will be hidden keep learning and keep moving ahead you are going to learn more in the coming lessons hi welcome back friend here in this lesson you're going to learn about splitting a video clip in a blender so let's get started so here we got a video clip in the blender timeline and we can split it in two different ways uh, we can apply a soft cut and we can apply a hard cut so you will learn the difference between these two things and how you can leverage them for your video editing projects so let's get started so here let's select a, a video clip let's delete everything else that we don't need so the blue one is the video clip and we can select the right click and select a split so once you select the split option uh, it will make your video split it into two different halves just place your cursor or the line you can see the white line and wh wherever it is it will be placed uh, the video will be split from there into two different halves so you can split a video clip into n number of uh, different individual clips you can split it the way you want either frame wise or anything you feel like and once we apply this uh, split icon you can also select uh, split in two different ways you can right click a video clip and select the split option or you can press the K keyword on your keyboard K for kingdom so you can press the K 
just anywhere you place this thing. So it will create a soft cut. So let's learn what is soft cut. Uh, if you created a soft cut, you can drag the start of the clip to recover the frames before you cut. So even if you apply a cut, you can expand the video the way you like and it will restore the video uh, that has been deleted so let's see how it works so you can have expanded and it has retained everything that has been cut and if you create a hard cut you have to just press shift plus k you have to hold the shift key on the keyboard and press the k button and it will create a hard cut and it won't allow you to restore the clips it will just restore the image all the frame that has been there in the last or the starting of the clip so what we can do with these two different kinds of cuts we can simply cut a uh, video clips to create amazing effects like we have a walking boot and we can split it into multiple halves we can apply various kinds of uh, effects like whenever we want to freeze the effect we can uh, reframe it like we can place the starting at the end and at the beginning or something in between so here it is uh, just we placed played uh, this thing and it can be used so if you want to create some kind of video that will have a time travel kind of effects or you want to remap the time you want to show a same clip in different ways like for example you may have a, a single clip you want to play back in 2x speed then you want to slow it down some segments of the video clip you want to create a dramatic effect uh, you can create these things cuts can be used for everything so there's no video editing with, without a cut you need to have a proper video clip say if you have a 10 minutes long video clip and you have to make a video of two to three minutes you have to decide which segments of the video must be there so like if you are walking on the street and recording with a camera uh, there might be some locations where you want to remove those segments of the video so you can deliberately remove everything and it's better to apply the hard cut in that case if you don't want to show something in between but otherwise if you want to restore some segments of your video clip you can also go with the soft cut so these are the two mechanisms soft cut can be done by just right click and select the split option you can also apply just pressing the k keyword on the keyboard or you can add the hard cut using shift k you can experiment with both of these things uh, just open the blender video editing panel workspace and start adding various clips various uh, image assets uh, cut it down uh, using various uh, soft cut and hard cut mechanisms and try to rearrange them the way you want just experiment be creative and let your uh, creativity nurture in the video editing work keep learning and keep moving ahead hey friend welcome back here in this lesson you're going to learn about fading and blending for video editing so let's get started so uh, here we are in the blender video editing dashboard and here uh, let us import a video clip to start with uh, these two concepts so what is fading you already know uh, that there is an effect called fade in or fade out so your video clip will up appear from uh, some background it could be a dark background it could be a bright background any color you can choose or you can have another clip or image behind that so it could it looks like it is emerging from somewhere this is called uh, fading and you can initiate it at the starting then it will be called as fade in and if you place it at the end of the video clip it will call as fade out so we can implement this thing so here just right click and you can split a video clip here we remove the unwanted sections of the video and we will go with the existing ones 
So for video editing, you need to combine various effects together. You need to split a video. You need to just select the uh, used main important uh, segment of the video clip. You need to alter a few things. You can add transformations. You could set keyframes. You can change the frame rate and a lot of things. So here in this course, you are learning each and every concept one by one. So once you learn these concepts and practice well, you can combine them together to create an awesome video project. So this is the part that we require. We can expand it further. You know, there are two kinds of cuts, hard cut and soft cut that you already learned in the previous lesson. If you require a soft cut, you can create a cut like that or otherwise just go with the default one. So here it is. This is the video clip. You can slow it down. You can increase the speed by speed control that you will learn later on. Just right click and select the fade. And here you got four different options uh, where you can select. So first is fade in and out. So it will create a fading effect at the starting and as well as end of the clip. You can add a fade in for just if you want to only add a fade in effect or fade from current frame and to current frame. And we have just created a black solid background color. So you can just go to the add option where you can select this thing. So you can change the color of uh, this background. This is nothing just uh, like a background. You can add a text, you can add a color, you can also add an image or you can also add some other clip. Uh, so if you have added a color layer, you can go to the color wheel and change the color. You can adjust with the field. So here it is a, an ocean trip. It is a, you can see it is a cruise ship running on a sea. So on a sunny day, so you can add a background that matches with this vibe. So just use the similar color for maintaining the color harmony. Otherwise, just uh, go with the default black. Black and white are two colors that works very well if you want to add some fading effect. If you want anything to emerge from the white, you can have a, have a white background or any other color with a bright tone or you can have the black background. So here it is. You can see it is gradual. If you want to slow down your clip, the fading effect will be gradual. And just keep reminded of one thing. You can also duplicate this layer and paste it anywhere else. So we have just uh, created this color layer in the starting of the video clip as well as end. So we have created a beautiful fading effect. If you want to clear the fade effect, you can just do the same thing. Right click, clear fade, just below the fade option. And if you want to re-enable any other kind of fading effect, you can choose between these things. So if you want to have a fading effect in the starting, you can choose fade in. If you want only at the end, you can add fade out. And next option is the blending mode. So blending allows you more power if you want to have some advanced fading effects. So just go to the right click and effects and you can choose from there the strips, the composition, composition option the reveal option the so reveal is the blending mode so for blending mode uh, remember one thing uh, something any any video layer is blended on the top of another layer so if you have another video layer it will have some uh, hallucinating effects like you will uh, find you would be able to look through some of the segments of the first clip that is kept on the top and some of the bottom if you have already used some softwares, image editing softwares like Photoshop, uh, Adobe Illustrator, you might be already familiar with blending modes. Otherwise, just uh, go through them one by one, you would understand it. So by default, we take the alpha over blending mode. You can keep it um, in the default mode. Otherwise, you can try different things. If you want to highlight certain things of the video clip, you can choose uh, something like lighten the screen light and burn or color burn if you have multiple clips and you want to have some similar effect you can have the multiply effect otherwise if you want to uh, highlight some dark segments you could have uh, some other 
a hard light effect uh, you could choose the overlay effect you can have alpha under uh, you could have the cross blend you could have a replace blend anything like that so you can choose uh, various properties and you can also change the opacity of the uh, video clip on the top so not just a video clip you can also change the property of the color layer images and anything else so this is how you apply blending and fading in uh, in blender keep learning and keep moving ahead hey welcome back friend here in this lesson you're going to learn about adding text and setting up keyframes for uh, various kinds of animations where you can use transformation properties to create animation so let's get started so here we have a video clip that has been added to the timeline and we are in the video editing workspace just move to add and here you can add on a text field you can also add a color you can add other elements as well so if you provide a text you need to provide a description of the text that you want it to be displayed so just move to the strip option the effect strip and here you can provide the keyword for the text so you just write anything like a welcome and put it here and it would be displayed you can also alter this text you can change various properties you can increase the size you can decrease the size you can change the color of the text uh, just click on here and you can choose from various colors on the color wheel so you can decide a uh, color you can also provide the hex code if you prefer in that way otherwise you can choose any color you can also use the eyedropper tool you take the color from the background say like uh, if you have multiple colors in the background and you want to create a theme with the harmony you can do so you can also create a order uh, outline or the shadow for this text and you can create it if you check this by default it is unchecked so it won't create a shadow and if you want to cast a shadow for this text you can create it and you can also change the color say by default it is black and if you check it you would be able to change the color just move the color wheel by default it is set to black you can change it to rgb uh, take any sample color like we have created a dark blue color for the text and light blue could be used as a shadow so it makes a little bit 3d effect and you can use it although it looks like some old school designing technique but still you can move with this you can also increase the duration of uh, the display for this text you can decrease it if you want to uh, make this text visible for a longer duration you can simply expand the timeline expand it in the timeline the component and if you want to add a fading effect just right click and add fade it is better to add a fading in or fading out as well both so it will look a decent so here uh, on a video editing clip if you want to add some subtitles you can use uh, the text text can be used for various uses use cases you can add subtitle you could add information like anything like if you're creating a travel blog you could add name spaces for places and food for example whatever you eat if your video is recorded in one language you can add another language and so on and the language for text would depend on your computer if you have the font for english uh, only you can go with english if you have font for other languages like uh, chinese arabic anything else you can go with that here it is and you could set the keyframes for this text like you can create animation just select the text go to the strip option just select the position and the dot a small dot icon uh, next to every value the white colored dot that is called keyframe so those of you uh, who are very new to the concept of keyframes keyframes are used for creating animations so as you can see we have moved the text we can move it anywhere on the screen okay so if you change the position x x is the x coordinate it will move left or right y is the y coordinate vertically it will move top or bottom you can uh, use the scaling 
you can change the anchor point anchor is the center point uh, from where the text revolves you can change the rotation and set other properties just you need to uh, go in the value field in the strip option and you can move on whenever you click on this dot icon it set a keyframe and the color changes to yellow and green afterwards and then later on you can change set another keyframe by just moving the key space so for example uh, you need to just first click uh, once on the dot set the position to zero so initially it will be positioned at zero then move it uh, further in the time and move that keyword for different values say 50 for the coordinate and set another keyframe so between these two seconds gap uh, it will move in that direction so this way we have created an animated text you could create animated videos you could add a lot of things this is not like a 2d or 3d animation where you animate everything uh, that is part of uh, advanced part for motion graphics you can use it uh, also blender uh, allows you to create motion graphics as well but it is not part of video editing video editing is completely different thing but uh, you can create a lot of motion graphic things uh, using the simple video editing concepts like keyframes so keyframes uh, require you to give enough dedication you would learn with mistakes so if you do some mistakes don't worry just start again set the keyframes and once you click on the keyframe it will either create or delete so if you have created if you have not created a keyframe it will create initialize and if you have created and clicked again it will remove it so you can do it and if you have any doubt you can simply delete that segment of the video clip where you have done some mistakes for the keyframes you could simply just move ahead and add it again over again so we have just simply moved this uh, video clip of the ship from top to bottom but we have not added any other clip in the background say if you have uh, multiple clips you can create your own transition effects so there are various kinds of transition effects that you can use on the videos using these uh, position uh, keyframes you can create your own transitions uh, like anything appears from anywhere on the screen and if you have green screen components it will create motion graphics effects or visual effects as well so keep learning and keep moving ahead you are going to learn more in the coming lessons hi welcome back friends here in this lesson you are going to learn about the speed control and using effect strips so let's get started uh, so before uh, moving forward let us readjust the window panel you can do it very easily the way you want if you uh, have already added the video clips and you don't want to uh, see this uh, project explorer panel you can expand the monitor you can also minimize other options as well uh, it is better to have the preview monitor as well as timeline covering most part of the screen because these are uh, widely used then uh, you can also customize other things as well uh, let us now add an effect strip just move to add option uh, next to the strip option and here you can add multiple things let us add an effect strip from third option from the top and add speed control so this will allow you to uh, add various things like a uh, glow gaussian blur transformation multicam selector and other things you could also add text color the background color this it is also called as a solid you could add adjustment layer the fade sound anything else uh, what does a speed control do a speed control is like a different uh, layer of just above the video layer and it allows you uh, to change the speed of the video you could do it uh, two ways also you can change the speed of the video by selecting the video layer itself uh, but it offers multiple options as well you could just go to the time option in the strip panel and here you would find the duration option you can change the duration of the video by simply making it fast play fast or slow 
So like uh, for example, you got a 10 minute video clip. If you change the duration from 10 minute to 5 minutes, it will make it two times faster. So anything that is displayed in 10 minutes will be displayed, will be compressed and will be played in 5 minutes. If you increase the duration from 10 to 20, it will slow down and make it half of the speed. It won't cut your video, it will just change the speed of your video. So you can change the duration of the video, but keep in mind, uh, you have to define the starting frame and end frame because uh, if the duration exceeds the end frame, it won't be exported. So make sure uh, you keep the end frame the way where you want. And you can customize it later on. Don't worry, you will learn in the next lessons. So you can change the duration of the video playback. You could define the starting frame. You could define the end frame and time. You can also do it by frame or do it by time. So either if you want to cut the video clip, you can also cut the video clip. You could play it at a different part. Uh, for cutting, uh, for splitting the video, you need to do either a hard or soft cut or you can use the mouse key to just drag. If you drag from the end of the video, it will cut it down from the later part or you can compress it using the duration panel. So for editing a video, you can perform various things. You can cut it into multiple parts. You could add different layers for speed control. Like uh, you could add a background color, you could add text. You could add multiple things. You could add the glow. You could add the crop. You could change the transformation properties and other things as well. So when you combine these skills together, you could create an awesome video. If you're not sure about any effect, just add it there. Uh, add it as a layer and just move to the strip panel. Just move through uh, various properties change their values and learn with this. Don't be rigid with uh, anything you already know. Be open to experiment with different things because creativity is curated only when you experiment or try new things in the new ways. So always look forward for doing things differently, little bit differently. So you can scroll down, move with uh, different settings and once if you are not sure about whether to move with this thing or not, uh, you can always choose to delete that layer. Because uh, everything you have added will be added to the layer and not to the video itself. So if you change, uh, delete that layer, the settings will be gone. But if you apply these changes to the video layer itself, uh, you have to change it manually. Or also you can add the video clip as well, but if the video is very complex, it is not advisable to do these things. Also with the strip uh, layer, uh, there's an advantage. So for example, if you have multiple video clips and you want to add some layer, it will affect everything below it. So like if you have uh, an image and a video, everything will be affected. All the adjustment layer, not the speed control. The speed control is just for the videos, not for the images. So try these, these things, add an effect strip, play with uh, speed control and other things. Keep learning and keep moving ahead and be creative. You are going to learn more in the coming lessons. Hi, welcome back friend. Here in this lesson, you are going to learn about adding glow and changing brightness, saturation and other things in Blender. So let's get started with this. So we got a video clip add it to the timeline. Uh, just go to the add option and you can go to the effect strip and you can add the glue. So just follow this thing, select the clip, go to add option, uh, go to effect strip and here you got various options. You can add a, a transformation, multicam selector, you can add a speed control, you can add a gloss, Gaussian blur or you can add a glue. For now, we are going to add a glue. So what is a glow? Uh, there are various properties that uh, define the glow. On the right hand side on the effect strip options control panel, you got various properties that you can adjust 
uh, on your video clip that will design your property so for cinematographers and other people who use color grading uh, this glow effect strip could be very useful although it just does not offer the control complete control of uh, color grading but it do a lot of thing it will allow you the power so for example if you have taken a video like uh, this uh, in the daytime but uh, there was uh, say for obvious reasons uh, there is not sufficient enough brightness either you have shot it in the shadowy part the dark side or uh, the sun was not bright enough there could be clouds or even in the, there could be pollution and other conditions uh, you are not satisfied with the brightness level you can increase the brightness not just to increase the brightness you can also control the saturation between various colors like uh, in the foggy climate where, where there's a fog uh, mist dust storms there could be cloudy seasons or something like that the saturation of colors are not that much visible like uh, blue is not clearly blue somewhat grayish uh, red is not complete red it is somewhat darkened so you want to add saturation in that case or for other reasons you, if you want to create some animation you can also do that and remember one thing there's always a keyframe attached to every property so if you want to create some kind of animation effect you can also do that like uh, if you want to create an animation like your video appears with a high saturation and gets into the normal saturation level or it may have a high brightness that gradually decreases over time like you can find that uh, various in hollywood movies or other places where uh, like uh, if you want to have some angel present so how does an angel appears in a bollywood movie a uh, hollywood movies so there is a bright light and suddenly everything gets back to the normal light so you can adjust it animate using this brightness properties also you can transform your video clips in the x y position coordinates you can scale it you can create a mirror effect like uh, just select the x or y option you can create a mirror image like we have created this mirror image in the x coordinate uh, on the the shape was uh, in the earlier clip it was on the left hand side we can flip it and the magic is it doesn't look artificial it looks like completely natural so maybe if you have taken a video clip on the right right hand side of the ship and you want uh, for various reasons it, it to appear on the left hand side you can do that using this mirror property so there are minute uh, tiny effects or controls that is provided by the blender that you can leverage to design your video the way you want so like uh, the mirror property you can change the boost factor the blur distance the quality and other things so try to leverage various properties uh, just play with various effects change various properties you will learn everything so the, these uh, video editing is a creative skill and in the creativity you need to experiment and brush your skills a lot so in order to be an artist you need to draw a lot of paintings on the canvas you have to draw a lot of sketches so just for the video editing you have to edit a lot of video if you want your first video to be uh, oscar winning it is not possible you have to practice a lot so learn these things just by practicing so keep learning and keep moving ahead you're going to learn more in the coming lessons hi welcome back friend here in this lesson you're going to learn about creating a proxy clip in blender so let's get started so you already know how to uh, add video clips to the timeline and uh, the video that is added to the timeline is of the full quality full length and at the time of rendering you may have multiple such video clips like say 10 or 20 video clips and it will take time to render in the real time although you when you are exporting the video you want it to be a high quality video without any loss of data but at the time of editing as you can see here the preview monitor uh, you don't want the video to be lagging so what you can do if you don't have a high gpu machine or either if you have a high gpu machine 
you want uh, the rendering process to be very seamless uh, you can create a proxy clip so proxy clip is kind of dummy clip that is uh, based on the original clip with the reduced quality but the quality will be reduced only for the preview phase while you are editing the video it won't affect the final video so how you can create a proxy clip let's learn about this so here we have added uh, one video clip as you can see we are moving it on this and then you can go to the view option just next to the preview you can find it uh, just above the uh, preview monitor uh, where the video is being displayed and you can choose to create a proxy so the first step is to set up a proxy then we will rebuild it and then we can render it so just go to the view option uh, select proxy and create a setup so if you want to have a 50 percent or 25 percent of the quality you can select for now we will go with the 50 percent quality and hit ok so first it has been set up then you can go to rebuild option and here it is so your proxy is being set up and spilled so uh, the video that you preview it will be created on the proxy so proxy creating a proxy is not a component of video editing itself but if you are doing some advanced uh, components like if you are rendering 4k videos it will be difficult for your computer to render in real time with the high resolution so you can create a proxy clip in that case so blender is a powerful video editing tool don't forget it you can create a lot of videos uh, design uh, various custom advanced videos for a lot of work so keep learning and keep moving ahead and start practicing so you can practice everything that you learn in these lessons hi welcome back friend here in this lesson you're going to learn about export settings and how you can render your video after you have edited it so you have designed your video combining multiple clips creating various effects such as fading transitions and much more and it's important to know what are the various settings that you need to know for exporting a video properly because there could be various kind of requirements for the platform that you want your video to be exported say if you are uh, going to create a video for youtube or other social media platforms you can define various kinds of formats the frame rate uh, aspect ratio uh, the file format the color tone uh, output quality uh, audio codec and much more there are a lot to do so on the top right corner you can find various settings that are important for exporting a video so as you can see here in the timeline we have added multiple clips you can do in the various ways and you can combine a, a very complex video or you can add a simple image as well export settings is for everything so you have to decide the starting frame and the end frame and you can choose it define it here otherwise you can manually select it as well you have to decide the dimension of your video like uh, currently i have set it to 1920 by 1080 pixels and the resolution then uh, we have set aspect ratio as 1 is to 1 if you want to change it you can change so if you want to export a video for 4k resolution you can choose uh, the 4k settings otherwise you can go with the hd settings or micro sd anything you want then you can decide uh, various other things like output location time repamping if you want to do otherwise just leave it then the frame rate frame rate uh, is by default 60 frame per second uh, depending on the video if uh, the video has a lot of uh, motion uh, it is advisable to have a, a higher frame rate or otherwise uh, if it is for podcasting or something like that uh, where there's not a lot of motion you can have uh, a lower frame rate for example if you have a headshot video where you are speaking to your audience directly and while you are not moving and there's nothing moving in the background you can choose a lower frame rate in order to make the video quality uh, look decent uh, although with a small size if you want to have a 
various advanced uh, graphics like travel blocks you can choose a higher frame rate then you can define the file format uh, where you want to render uh, it is better to choose ffmpeg video format if you want to convert to mp4 otherwise you can also go with the avi format uh, avi raw for lossless avi jpeg uh, you can go with the image files as well depending on what you want to export then you can choose the color uh, you can choose the output quality if you want to have uh, constant bitrate if you want to choose the lossless format you can have a perpetually lossless a high quality medium quality low and very low say if you want to just have a trial video and you're running for a small old mobile phone devices or some uh, smart watches with a low resolution you can set a lowest uh, output quality otherwise just go for the high quality or lossless format then you can choose to include what you want to have in the uh, rendered video output if you want to have various effects if you want to have the date time being displayed you can select them otherwise you can uncheck them if you don't want to remove then there are other properties as well that you can check otherwise keep them default like color we don't want a black and white video we'll go with the rgb but if you want to convert it to a black and white video it's very simple and once you are done just go to render next to the file and render the animation so it will render it will take some time and it will create an output just like this this is a preview preview window and you can find in the process it is rendering you can minimize it you can um, scale it down and have the background just uh, make it a little bit small readjust the size and you can see on the bottom center option there is a progress bar that is rendering this video clip and you can see the time liner uh, it is moving towards the right hand side uh, in the process it is being rendered if you render with the loss uh, lossless format uh, or high quality it will take some time if you render in low quality it will render very easily for audio codecs you can check double uh, ac flac mp3 mp4 uh, sorry mp2 and mp3 you can go with the pcm format so if you are not an audio person audio fill uh, then it's better to go with the aac or mp3 format for those of you who are very much into the audio world uh, you already know that mp3 is a lossy format and you can go either with the double ac or pcm format pcm is generally preferred for apple devices like iphone uh, macbooks and other and aac is preferred everywhere else also it everything will work on all the devices uh, there's nothing of this sort and if you want to have the highest quality of audio that is crisp and clear like something like the raw format like a raw format is for images you can choose flac format flac so flac is like a raw format for audio and you can go with this but most people go with the double ac format otherwise if you're not sure just leave it default you can also check the sample rate volume bitrate and other settings as well and once you're done you can also export uh, this file as the fbx format or the colada format that you can use it later on keep learning and keep moving ahead